ideas right off the bat. You can make it go really fast and have fun with it. I find that I'm constantly surprised and constantly impressed. Some cups and maybe some a bowl. One, two, ready, and. I couldn't ask for more. I'm blessed to have them in the classroom. The personality of you comes through the instrument. It can almost describe a story to you if you listen to it. So whatever you're feeling, whatever your personality is, it comes through and we hear it. The music is so amazing, like, you know, it can help others. My goal is to lead them to play from the heart. It's easy to carry, it's easy to play notes, but some other things it's really hard. He was a little apprehensive at first. But as soon as he got his hands on a ball of clay, he immediately started to have ideas. And he would even feel the clay and say, this doesn't look right, this doesn't look right, um, meaning it doesn't feel right. My vision, like I can, I barely, I can barely see anything. Anybody who has ever worked on a pottery wheel will tell you this, the hardest part is getting the clay centered on the wheel. If it's not centered on the wheel and you turn it on, it's gonna fly off. Like if you center it, you have to remember that point. And if you forget, you have to redo it. The first step is to get it centered, but he can't see where the center is. I'll just center it for him and then he can learn the rest. One day, I walked back into the, the room where the wheel is and he had it centered and he was working with it. And I said, Will, how did you do that? And he was like, oh, it's pretty easy, actually. I just realized, why can't I just put my hands on the side of the wheel so I can keep my hands still, so I can know you from center? Because since I cannot see, I can feel it. He's got a very, uh, well thought out plan as to how he walks his fingers to the center of the wheel before he makes the decision to center it. The clay will move my thumb, you know, depending how far from the center it will move left, right, or back and front. I've never worked with a blind student before and art and blindness. How do I make this relatable to him? But with the pottery, he could go back and feel something that he did two weeks ago, and he can feel this progression of him improving. It's like his own portfolio. Very talented player. Um, he's a great asset to our program. As long as I can play on the instrument, I'll be remember it. What he likes is for me to play it on an instrument, and then record it. My teacher will send me, me the email with the recording on that so I can listen to it and practice on my trumpet. And he's able to learn it at his own will. <laughs> I'm so amazed because some things that he doesn't have learned, I could play it in class and he catches it almost immediately. Will, that's gonna go E, E, F, D, E. He's able to play a C when I say, I need this C. There it is. He knows exactly where it should go, whatever one I'm asking for. That's amazing. Doesn't matter what instrument, as long as I can play it, I will remember it always. With marching band, he did march with us. So the students were great um, with leading him. One of my friends, she's really smart, and she thought about, you know, you, since like, I'm really good at hearing, so she and other friends has a, like, a jingle bell bracelet on their wrist. She would jingle her wrist, and he would be able to hear that and go in the direction that he should go following her. So they're like a like kind of like a compass thing. So I when I hear the jingle bell, I know where I'm at. How do you hear a bell through all that cacophony of not just uh, the band playing, but people are talking? He could just hear a little jingle bell. That's amazing. He's able to hear it. I think he's just that much more alert because he can hear everything. He hears everything. He's overcome so much. I'm coming from a city called Guion, 
and I think that's in the middle part of in China. He was adopted as a teenager. I supposed to age out at 14. So you can either choose go out of the world on your own or go back to the orphanage. Moved to a completely different culture, a new family, a big family, and he fits right in. He did not speak English at all. It's hard. It's really, really hard. Absolutely inspiring because he could have easily uh, decided, I can't see, so this isn't for me. But he did. He almost feel like a Plato, but it's better. He is an amazing teacher to what a positive attitude can do for you. I just really just want to say, you know, visually impaired, or you know, do you have any problem with your body or what? It's not me. You cannot achieve what you want. There's definitely a way you can, what you can you can achieve your goals. Just don't give up. You never know when you're actually gonna achieve it.